Good morning everyone, this is Ranger Rob from the Ranger Rob Country Living. And uh, this video might pull your chain a little bit. Get the sun coming up this morning. And uh, I, I kind of call this the last day of, of uh, the kind of freedom that we've been used to. And we're going into a new age of uh, government support, I think. <clears throat> so, I want to start this video out with letting you know that in the description, I put a link to a video that talks about the depression. And I, I'm not saying, well, <laughs> I am saying, but yeah, we are in, going into, we're kind of in a recession mode now. I mean, have to be. Um, but I think we'll soon see what a depression looked like. So what I want to label this video about is I'm going to call it 1929. <clears throat> now what I would like to ask you to do is in the description I put a link to a documentary. Now don't turn this documentary on unless you have time to really um, listen to it. And listen to it closely. And it will describe to you what it was like uh, before and after 1929, up to uh, the Depression <clears throat> hit. Now you got to realize the Depression lasted a good 10 years. And it will talk about who was in politics and who was who at the time. At the time it was uh, President Hoover. He was a Republican. Kind of rings a bell, huh? Well, of course, uh, as a Republican, they tend to uh, not want to interfere with business. <clears throat> the thing is, later on, they'll find out that was the answer. Don't interfere with business. Let's let business correct things. But no, the Americans started, uh, you know, the, everybody lost their fortunes in the stock market and things like that. And of course, a lot of people lost their homes, were homeless, and they uh, started, a lot of them immigrated to uh, the farmlands, rural um, <coughs> areas, because it was getting down to a roof over their heads and food. You old, hear the old saying, I'll work for food. <laughs> that literally is what happened. You know, they have a family, and it's like, I can't feed my children. So they'd eventually work, work their way out to farms and work out deals like working in somebody's farm in return for food. And uh, I cannot wait till that time comes because I can't afford to pay anybody to help me. I could use a lot of help. This whole area will be food and there'll be food back here. And those chickens are making me food. And it's going to be more food than I need for me and Sherry. And uh, it could be in four or five years. People that say, hey, can I set up a little trailer or something in your property and let us live with here and we'll work for for a rent? And uh, it's like, hell yeah. <laughs> you help me take care of these these gardens that are going to be in here and you help me this greenhouse and getting the eggs for the chickens and maybe I'll have some meat birds and stuff darn right I'd feed those people you know they're not expecting a handout they're willing to work for the basics of life and that's really what it all comes down to is faith a roof over your head and food in your tummy but what I want to talk about is if you watch this documentary that I put a link in the description. Now some of you guys might be watching this on uh, TV and stuff. Or you'll have to go to your computer or your, or your uh, cell phone and click on the link. And give yourself time to watch. I like slow down for a minute and watch the documentary. It talks about 1929 on through to 1940. And I'll talk about that they, they put Roosevelt in, and you heard about the big uh, the big New Deal, which was a whole bunch of things to try to 
supplement the Americans. In the long run, it didn't work. And what really the answer to everything was is let is back off and let capitalism fix the problem. And once they learn that, and then of course we had a little bit of another factor of World War II st step in, um, we started to thrive again. But the more the government tried to manipulate things, the worse it got and the more complaining. Uh, when you let small business, which were destroyed, and uh, unfortunately we're going to learn all this the hard way, uh, history will replay itself. Now, if you go to other depressions, there was other depressions, by the way, and the same thing happened. And of course, everybody talked about socialism. Everybody talked about fascism. And all those things have already happened. So this is not new. I know for a lot of you people think this stuff is new. It's not. And if you want to know how things are going to turn out, just go to history. And I'm giving you, I'm saving you a whole bunch of work. Go down in the description, find the link to the documentary and watch it. And then ask yourself, that's exact, well, is that exactly what's going on today? And it's almost exact. Almost exact. And even at my age, I never had to live through that kind of circumstance. My grand parents did. My father uh, was very young at the time, so he doesn't really f remember the impact other than they ate a lot of potatoes back then. It was the most affordable thing they'd do. But um, I know, I just, uh, I, I think the theory would be good if you thought about, if you could get away from the cities, Get yourself some acreage. Find a way to, to grow your own food. And grow more than you need. And if things get as bad as they did in 1929, you would actually probably thrive. And other people would come here to help you. Because they need help. And we all want to give each other help. But not a free handout. If I had a family, say in a couple years from now, they lost their house and they got kids and they're hungry and the guy or the family says, if we could just stay on your property, could you supply us water, restrooms of course, and can we work for food? And it'd be, hell yeah. Why would I not do that? And why wouldn't they do it? And could actually be quite a friendship just because I have more than what they have doesn't make me any better than them it means I have something I can share but I have to be smart about it and hopefully you could be put in that position move away from the city get yourself some property grow a whole bunch of food grow some animals make too much so if you make too much give it to the food banks and if times really get that tough, and if you look at history, it looks like it could get that tough again. Hard to believe. He's like, oh, no, it won't happen to us. Well, I'm, those people said the same thing. And it, all the d uh, diaries, everything from 1929 up, all say the same things we're saying today. Oh, the government, they'll help us. They won't. They'll try. But they'll fail. They just can't do things like that. They try. <laughs> the presidents back then tried. You can't trust the banks. And you can't trust the government. Um, they can govern. But they can't fix problems. It turns out the people. Us. Are the ones who can fix the problem. Let small business thrive. Let big business um, not be such a high priority and the, the, the government will resolve itself 
Now they're talking about a, a reset as far as finances and stuff. But the same rules will apply whether we're using crypto or a new kind of currency. The same rules will apply. And uh, anyway, I, I, I'm just kind of giving you food for thought. But, uh, you know, I, I, we talk about prepping a lot. We talk about homesteading a lot. But in the long run, us homesteaders may be the ones that help a lot of people in the future. And they'll help us. And that's a good thing. That's a, a godly thing to do. And, and even in the Bible it says we need, to, we need to do hard work so we can harvest uh, good things. We're, re we're expected to work hard. Um, so anyway, I, uh, I just wanted to kind of pass that on. I've been thinking a lot about it. <laughs> like I said, this is the last day of the kind of freedom we've been used to. And now we're going into what they would call the, the, the new deal. Which, by the way, already happened once or twice. Um, I really want to urge you guys to please watch that doc documentary. And uh, if you're somebody who wants to help others, your chance is coming. But in the meantime, do as much work you can now to... Uh, gosh, it's pretty out cold out do what you can now to build up your homestead do what you can to build up your food do what you can to preserve food get your bills down because some people are going to need help and we're the ones that can help maybe not now but in a couple years we may be a blessing to some families so guys I hope you had a good day I hope this makes you think a little uh, leave your comments below. We appreciate it. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Show us a little love. <laughs> anyway, guys, talk to you later. Bye. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.